Hi guys, it's Dr. Sabrina Siegel here. I'm a neurobiologist and today is Brain Myth Monday. What does that mean? Well, every Monday I will be tackling another popular brain myth that's been in the media. Why am I doing this? Well, because on the one hand, while it's so exciting to me that the brain has been given so much more attention in recent years, on the other hand, I think this could be detrimental because oftentimes what happens in the media is that the reporter will take the scientific findings and present them in an over-exaggerated way just in order to make sexy headlines. While this might spark more interest, it can, it can really just not be that helpful to people if you want to actually use information about the brain to benefit your own life. And so it's my mission as a neuroscientist to bring to you the truth about the most cutting edge research in science. So my advice to you is always, always back up what you read on popular websites. And you can do this really easily by just clicking on the links at the bottom of the page. Any reputable news station should list the scientific articles down at the bottom of the page in their article. Now, if there aren't any links, then that's not a good sign. Um, so what you want to do is just go ahead and click on those links and it will take you to the actual scientific study that was conducted and you can actually find these studies yourself on either PubMed or Medline. And these are um, open to the public. Now, why are these types of articles different? Well, in a news media article, the author can basically say whatever they want. And so they can take these scientific findings and frame them in such a way that's more catchy or more interesting um, that will spark the interest of their audiences. This is usually not as helpful because what ends up happening is oftentimes they present information that's conflicting. And so you have people who shrug their shoulders and just sort of say, okay, well, today science says one thing and tomorrow science says something else. And that's not very helpful to being able to use science to improve your life. And that's my mission here. That's what I wanna do. So the difference between a popular news article and those that are actually published in PubMed or Medline is that these are scientific peer-reviewed journal articles and what that means is this is a very competitive process to actually have your article published in a medical journal that's peer-reviewed. Um, it essentially means this has to be original research conducted at an accredited university. It, it was overseen by an institutional review board um, that manages scientific ethics. And then it's, it's carefully critiqued and scrutinized, should we say, by your peers. And by your peers, what I basically mean is that these are other scientists who are experts in their field. And so in order to actually get your study published in a medical or scientific journal, it has to go through a very competitive process. And the basis behind this is to ensure that the scientific studies that are published in these journals are of high sound quality scientific research. So go ahead and click on that link that will take you to the scientific article and whether you have a subscription to these articles or not, you can always always read the abstract and the abstract is just that short little summary at the top of the page that tells you essentially what the scientists did in that study. Uh, now, that being said, sometimes abstracts aren't even that clear um, or sometimes the abstracts themselves can be misleading about what th was actually conducted in the scientific study. Now, that will be for another topic. But essentially, my mission as a neurobiologist is to dispel these brain myths so that I can bring to you the most accurate scientific information that can actually improve your life. So tune in every Monday to Brain Myth Monday. For more information on exercise in the brain, you can tune into my podcast. It's called Action Potential and it can be found on iTunes. You can also go to my website at www.doctor, spelled out like the word doctor, not dr, sabrinasiegel.com.